Uh. Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're the my... All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement, but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Alright, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Beautiful hit, hit. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well placed kick there by Lee. That uppercut is good. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh! 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big body kick lands. Tie. Big kick land. Now a knee to the body. Oh, big head kick there. Twenty seconds left. Nice punch there by Lee. Wow, huge head kick. What a round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in it. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. on the Superman punch. Liver kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, and just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ooh, what a punch. And he landed the right hand there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ooh. You got him. Oh, both. Both landed. Big left. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. And now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick, and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it. 
He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whiffs on that offering. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stay sharp. Yeah. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Great punch. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, single collar tie here. That right hand landed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice. goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big punch land. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29 28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, he was unable to do that.